Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the weekly vlog. As you as you may know, or, or you just saw, uh, yesterday was Blonde Cow's uh, last day on the ranch. She's she's been with us here for 15 years and a little bit over six months. Uh, she's had 13 cows on the ranch, and uh, I think that a few years ago we made the promise that she would end her days here on the ranch and, and that's exactly what she's done um, she lived her entire life serving us basically I mean from her calves to everything that she offered to the channel uh, giving people uh, something to associate with I guess uh, so many so many emails I, I actually uh, announced yesterday in the newsletter uh, that uh, that she had passed and um, the the amount over 500 emails back from the newsletter that, that people telling me how much she meant to them people that that have never even met blonde cow but looked for her in in every single video and, and wondered where she was gonna pop up next she became uh, uh, a symbol of the ranch and, and something that that I never could have done all by myself that that was just that, that she was there and and it just worked out that way so um, unfortunately yesterday uh, I went out to check on her and just like I do every single day and um, she had had I'm not exactly sure what had happened uh, whether she had a stroke or or something had happened she was not able to stand up she couldn't get up and she had one special spot that she liked to lay in the corrals. That was kind of her spot. And of course, you know, after after preg checking, we had the vet look at her eyes, found out that she had cataracts, she was having trouble seeing. And then, of course, we you know had now have all the empty cows in with her. But um, it was definitely uh, kind of a, a punch in the gut when I walked out, and I and I saw that she wasn't able to get up. And I knew that right then that, you know, this was probably going to be um, the end for her. Uh, we decided to wait until the kids got home from school, and that way they could say goodbye to her. Uh, Mackenzie had the roughest time with it. Um, she had a really hard time um, working her way through the emotions that she felt um, after being on the ranch so many years, you know, obviously Blonde Cow has been here just as long as she has. And, and I think that almost every memory that she had, um, you know, had to do with Blonde Cow, really. Um, so I think it was a lot for her to process through. And, and uh, but we, we worked through it together. Um, she got to say goodbye to Blonde Cow. And um, it wasn't that long after that, um, that she wasn't with us any longer. She's buried right here on the ranch. Um, and you know, it's the best that, that we could do for her and I didn't want to see her suffer. So I'm thankful, especially this week being a Thanksgiving, I'm thankful that she was here with us as long as she was, that she gave 13 calves to the ranch, that she, and some of which are probably still out here. I actually really haven't went back and looked and seen. I'm sure we probably kept heifers back from her at some point. So there's still a part of Blonde Cow still on the ranch. And, and I'm super thankful for, for everything that, that she had to offer and everything that she had to give. I'm thankful for every single minute that she spent in front of the camera, that she spent on screen, that we were able to share with you guys. So um, that being said, uh, this week on the vlog, I think is going to be kind of low key. I think that uh, all of us are a little emotionally um, worn out this week um thanksgiving of course being here kind of throws a wrench in things but uh 
yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful for Blonde Cow. I'm very thankful for you guys um, for letting her uh, be a part of our life as well. So um, tomorrow we'll pick up the weekly vlog. We'll see what we got going on. And uh, we're going to roll with it. Hey guys, welcome to Wednesday here on the weekly vlog where, as they say, the show must go on. I actually seriously considered um, stopping the weekly vlog after uh, yesterday and just kind of letting it letting it lie, you know, with Blonde Cow. And uh, Aaron convinced me, you know, keep going, keep going with the weekly vlog. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a holiday week. The week might be kind of screwed up. It might be a shorter vlog. But still, you know, people want to see what's going on. So today, uh, we are just finished up uh, filming for Wednesday's video. I always tell you guys, I try not to get really far ahead uh, when I'm filming. Well, this is one of those times when I was not at all far ahead and actually filming most of the day on Wednesday for a release uh, Wednesday afternoon to you guys on YouTube. The day kind of got away from me, as you probably seen in the video, uh, between taking half, having to take orders to town and, uh, you know, hay showing up, which I really wasn't expecting. And then of course, trying to get the chicken feeder done that day. And honestly, uh, in that video, I actually had to do it twice because uh, you may have caught this. Let me show you this. In the background of the video, you might've seen this base, uh, which was one of the first, which was the first base that I made. I actually made it a little bit too small. So it didn't work and I had to start over completely. So. Um, yeah, so long story short is I'm not going to be able to get the video out for today. I just don't, I don't have enough time. So uh, I'm going to put something on the community tab, which is something I hope you guys check and uh, basically say, hey, we're going to push this back probably till Friday. I'm thinking I'll have enough time to get it um, done after after Turkey Day, Thanksgiving, and then which is tomorrow. Holy smokes. And um, and then I'll be able to get that video out for you guys and then still be able to, to roll along uh, with the weekly vlog. We've got a lot of other stuff going on this week. We're rolling out meat to our Patreon supporters. So if you're a Patreon supporter, now you can actually go and get your password to go onto our website and order meat packages, beef and pork, uh, directly from the ranch ship two-day air to you. Um, you can do that if you're a Patreon supporter. If you're not a Patreon supporter and you'd like to be, $1 a month is all it takes. And you can get on the ground floor of uh, shipping beef and pork directly from the ranch. This is kind of our testing cycle. So this will go on for a couple weeks before we release it um, to, the next, uh, to the next segment of our uh, online population. So um, you can do that. Also, we're gearing up for our Black Friday sale, which is happening on the website now too. There's uh, up to 50% off uh, select items, 15% off on most items. So you can head on over to the website, check out Black Friday sales there. Um, if you're watching this on Sunday, it'll be up through Monday morning, I do believe. So I've got to clean up this mess and uh, get this all ready to go. Coming up this week here on the weekly vlog, um, I really, you know, I don't have a whole lot going on. Um, I do have to get over and weigh steers, so we'll be doing that at some point this week, um, seeing how they're doing as we, uh, as we get ready to, I think they go in February. So I really want to keep track of their weight gain. So we're going to go over and weigh all the steers this week. And other than that, I really don't have a plan. It's a holiday week here on the ranch, so it's kind of laid back and, and, uh, and relaxed, except for, you know, trying to get a video done in one day, which really didn't work. Thanks guys, and uh, have a happy Thanksgiving, or well, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. Ours is tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the vlog for tomorrow, but we'll figure it out. See you tomorrow. Hey Yoda, 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 Yoda. Hey Yoda, look at me. Hey. It's Thanksgiving for the goats. Goats giving. So yummy. There's some pizzas in here too.
Oh, there is eggshells in there, yeah. They like those too, probably. They'll eat oh, everything. Oh, they're eggshells. I'm not going to eat eggshells. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. It smells good. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hey guys, good morning. This is the weekly vlog and hanging out with us today is uh, somebody who's trying to get out of camera right there. Hi. Miss McKenzie hanging out with us today as we head out to do our morning chores also with us. The crazy dog, Mrs. Bean. Uh, it's uh, it's actually Thanksgiving break, so the kids have a, a few days off here and get a chance to get out and work a little bit. Bean! Bean, come on. And this morning I'm bringing Mackenzie with me as we head out and do the rounds, the morning rounds. Take a look at all the animals, make sure everybody's got some food and everybody's got water and everybody's taken care of. So, Mackenzie, what do you think we do first? Pigs, pigs. Pigs? You want to do pigs first. Okay, so what do pigs need? Food. Food and? Water. Water. All right, let's go check the pigs' food we, and water. We... All the pigs in a pig pile. Check this out, Kenzie. That's a pile of pigs. A little windy this morning, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pig water looks good, right? Let's head up through the corrals and we'll do the cow water really quick. Then we'll swing over and let out pigs or let out goats. We'll let out the goats and then we'll jump in the tractor and go and feed some cows, okay? Come on, Bean. Let's check this water. How's that water look? Can you climb up on the fence and look? Looks good. Looks good? Uh-huh. All right. So our empty cows have water. They could probably use a bale. We might have to bring a bale of hay back for them. Okay? Okay. Try to remind me. Yep. I might forget. And I bet you these delinquents need a bale too because they're eating about a bale a day. Are these, calves? these are calves. What are you doing, Bean? Look at Bean, working the cows. Good job, Bean. Good job. Get in there. Get in there. Come on, Bean. You can do it. Good job, Bean. All right. So what's next? Uh, goat, no, chicken. Goats and chickens. Chickens are already out. You're just going to climb that fence there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Goats? Goats. Goats. All right, let out the goats. Mackenzie has been our goat putter inner here lately, if you've been watching the goat cam, which is right there. If you've been watching the goat cam, you've probably seen Mackenzie taking the goats out and putting them in. Here come the goats. And a big goat. All right, Kenzie, tell us a story last night about when you put in the you goats. Put on your face as well. Yeah, tell us the story about when you put in the goats last night. So, um, Yoda was um, eating, and I just saw some red in her mouth, and I thought she like had a cut on her tongue or on the roof of her mouth, and she was just kept biting it and like eating her blood because it was all red inside her mouth. Okay, so why was it all red? She was eating beets. Eating beets. And you have red in your face as well.
Who would have known that goats like beet so much? Look well, at, I think all of them ate it because she has red on her face. She's he got has, red on her face. He has red. They all like beets. Beets are good. Uh, yeah. All right, what are we going to do next? Uh, we can feed steers first. Okay, let's go feed the steers. Okay, Mackenzie, we're over here and we're going to give the steers hmm. their their corn, oats, and barley because they have hay in there. But here's the deal. you got to stay in the gator. Yeah. They're because... They're steers? No. Because in this barn right over here... Oh, the present, yeah. Is old, your guys' big old Christmas present. So old. you can't peek in there. I no can. looking. Uh-huh, I know how this works. Okay, and unfortunately I can't even show you guys because these guys watch the videos. So they'll come back and they'll, they're will they sneaky. They'll figure out what's going on. So I'm going to leave you in here with Kenzie. I'm going to grab a couple uh, buckets of COB, corn, oats, and barley uh, that we're using to fatten these steers. So Mackenzie, I guess... Uh, they're yours, you get to talk to them, okay? And I'll be right back. Bean. You don't look in there, your Christmas presents in there. Beanie, beanie, beanie. Gotta make it up to here. Here are our steers. <laughs> Can you handle the empty buckets? Probably. Okay. And beans. Right. All right, let's take them back to the gator. And then we're gonna go back across the road, grab the tractor, drop Bean off, and go feed the cows. Good job. Okay, back to the yard, Bean. Go to the yard. You remember how to do this. Okay, can you run over and open the red gate? And I'll pick you up okay. along the way. I like having kids with me that I can uh, sick them on opening gates she can figure out how to open the gate. Are you in? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm in. Okay. So the cows aren't really into chasing hay too much yet. Uh, we haven't had any real good snow since our last snowstorm and they are still grazing off some hay fields. So I actually fed two bales yesterday and they're just now um, getting over to the second one that I fed. So that's good. So we don't have to feed these cows today, but we can still stop by and see them. Yeah. Um, do you want to see any cow in particular? Uh, her name starts with a B A M B I. Bambi. Bambi has been your pet cow her whole life, hasn't she? Uh -huh, uh huh. When you were a little tiny kid, you fed her with a bottle and you helped her grow up. I knew you it. taught her what it was like to be a pet cow. Yeah. Yeah. They were all the there she is. <laughs> Bambi likes the camera too. It's a little dusty out here, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we didn't bring you any cake, Bambi, I'm sorry. But I brought your kid. Yeah. You wanna give her some pets and then we'll get going? Just a girl and her cow. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, Bambi, we'll see you later. That's awesome. She looks me on the forehead. <laughs> she loves you. All right, let's go get a bale of hay for the empty cows that are in the corral. And then we'll go get some breakfast. Yay. Yay, food. One of my big rules is that the cows eat before we do. I think it was the other way around, like, according to YouTube. <laughs> according to YouTube, it's the other way around. Cows eat before I do, that's for sure. I've never seen hay bales with wet, or like white net wrap. With white net wrap? Yeah. Yeah, well, they come from different places, and different people use different types of net wrap. I mean, like, these are the ones that I see most of the time. Yeah. Hey, she comes back over to you and just tries to eat the camera with hay in her mouth. <laughs> she loves being the center of attention. Boy, that sounds really familiar. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder why. I wonder why. She must get it from you. Fluffy. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're over here with the empty cows. What's the first thing we got to do, Kenzie? Um, put the uh, take the net wrap off. Take the net wrap off. Let's go do that. Here you go, Kenzie. Pull it off. Oh, pull it off? Start on the bottom, pull it underneath, go underneath, like like around this way. Pull it really hard. I'm pulling a chunk of hay off. It's okay. We'll pick it up later. <laughs> Woo! Okay, here you go. Now pull. There you go. Now pull it. Go put it in the barn or in the, over there by that tractor. All right. You ready to put it in? Yep. Okay. That's it. Morning chores are done. We got more chores to do this afternoon, I'm sure, but. Project list is never empty. It's never empty, that's right. Um, so, you wanna say I'll see you tomorrow? I'll see you tomorrow on the weekly vlog. <laughs> yes. Hi guys, welcome back to the weekly vlog. Thanks for uh, sticking with me on this abbreviated version of a holiday week on the ranch. Uh, so today we are actually over here with the steers. This is on the north side of the highway and uh, the ranch is actually bisected by Highway 50. Um, we're on the north side of the highway and we're dealing with our steers that are over here. Now these steers have been in here for a little bit less than a month and we weighed them when we brought them in. So we know what they weighed when they came in. Now our goal for today is to weigh them now and see how much they're gaining. These steers will actually end up in the farm store. They'll be available for online sales. And we wanna make sure that we raise them the most efficiently uh, that we can. So before Jeff, ranch hand Jeff left this year, we came over here and we set up our own little weigh station for these steers. This is actually a loading pen, as usually what I call it and it leads into the chute, which would lead into a trailer, a loading chute. But what we did was we modified it a little bit. We put this gate in here at the end of the loading chute. So if you have the gate closed going into the trailer, 
They can't go anywhere. They're stuck in this little area. In this little area, we have a scale. This is a 9,000 pound scale. Um, it doesn't weigh that much, but it'll weigh up to that much. We've got our monitor right up here. So basically, I'm just going to run the steers up here. We're going to stop them on this scale. We're going to see what they weigh. And then they'll go into the trailer where they'll wait for everybody to get weighed. Then we can let them all back out. Our scale is calibrated to my super buff 185 pounds. And uh, all we have to do is bring in the steers. These five steers are waiting their date with Destiny or their date with the freezer or their date with freezer camp, uh, which is coming up in February. And you may think, well, you know, why are you messing around with this way now, way back here in November, uh, when they're not planning, they're not going to go until February. But what we want to do is figure out how much they're gaining per day so that we know if we're feeding them correctly. If we need to feed them more, if we need to feed them less, these are all problems that we're going to have to deal with. It's really all about efficiency. Okay, so now that we've got them up here in this holding pen, um, we just have to move it one at a time onto the scale. Now, this is a temporary solution to this problem. I know it's kind of, you know, loading them in a trailer, taking them off a trailer. Uh, we are in the process of designing a new design for our way station over here on this side. Part of the problem is that it's winter time and uh, drilling holes in the ground can kind of get it be a little bit tough when we have to start putting in posts and that kind of thing. But we are gonna get it done and we may be able to get it done this winter still. Um, some sort of way system back there in the alley that'll make things a little bit easier. But for now, this is what we got, so we deal with it. And we'll get started by bringing up just one steer, and then we'll put him on the scale. All right, who's first? Who's first? Who wants to go first? Come on. Go first. Come on. Somebody go. Somebody go. There we go. All right, so we got him on the scale. That was quick. Now I want to peek over, see what he weighs. 980 is what it looks like. And hey, and you're number 55. So number 55 weighs 980 pounds. And then we just put them on the trailer. That simple. Grab my handy dandy notebook. And we just keep doing the same thing for all these steers. Once I get a weight on everybody, I'll let you know how we're doing. And uh, hopefully we're getting enough food. Get up there. Take a look, see what we got. 
before we take a look and see how we're doing, I'm actually going to let these guys out, let them back down, get something to eat. Okay. They can come out whenever they want. Maybe they'll start working their way this way. I lost my pen somewhere. Hmm. Dang it, I really like that pen. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. You know why I like it so much? It lights up. Probably can't see that, but at nighttime, it's a light up pen. Anyway, come on guys. Just go by me. You're totally fine. So here's what we got. We weighed these five steers. Now when we put them in here um, on uh, right, at the, right at the beginning of November, uh, we weighed them on November 7th and they were right around a thousand pounds a piece. So what we found out today is kind of weird, but not all together unexpected. Guys, get out of the trailer. Why do you keep going back in? Hold on. You guys can't live in the trailer, okay? So let's go, come on. Out of the trailer. my head okay so anyway like I was saying um, what we've got here is not to be unexpected and that's the fact that they all lost weight over the last month so you think the goal would be take them out of the field off pasture move them in here we start graining them we start giving them free access to hay you think they'd be gaining weight, but sometimes they don't. And that's where there's almost like this little bump that happens when you wean calves or when you move calves from, or steers from pasture into a feedlot type program, they're gonna lose weight, at least in the very beginning. So it's not totally unexpected. Um, basically what it tells me is that I just need to up their food intake a little bit, which is fine. Uh, the other thing that I really wanna do is take a look at their poop and make sure that uh, they don't have the runs. Because if they have the runs, then that means I'm giving them too much protein, uh, which is in the corn, oats, and barley. So we're just gonna take a look at their poop really quick. Um, it doesn't look horrible, it's a little runny. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is actually start giving them a little bit more roughage, um, which means that giving them some more hay and making sure that they've got hay pretty much all the time, um, which we do, but maybe I'll, give them a little bit extra or throw an extra bale in here or something like that. Maybe there's a little bit of uh, competition going on between the five of them. So you can see they've kind of destroyed a little bit of a hay bale here. I should probably get a ring feeder in here to manage that a little bit better. Um, but I think, uh, I think we're doing okay so far. Not unexpected that they actually lost weight, um, but not the best thing in the world either. We're hoping next month then we should see a big bump in their weight. We want them to gain about 200 pounds while they're in here um, in the feedlot program. So guys, let's fatten up some more donuts, 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 donuts in the front room. If you want some donuts, go get them. Go get the donuts. Go get donuts. Everybody loves donuts. Alrighty. That's pretty much it uh, for this week on the weekly vlog. I really do hope that you had a great Thanksgiving. Um, we'll be back on Wednesday with a brand new video. And of course the weekly vlog continues every Sunday. Head on over to our website, check out the Black Friday deals. And if you're a Patreon supporter, the meat and pork is there waiting for you guys. So as always, thanks for being a part of our Wyoming life.